Why is the ah vowel so difficult for many singers? We sometimes get the breathy, swallowed ah like this, oh, or sometimes we get the bright and nasal ah like this, ah, uh, or sometimes we just get a plain old tight ah like this, ah. Uh. I'm going to give you the four main reasons. Welcome back to another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. 32 years of teaching voice, 44 years of studying voice, all different styles. My students have ranged from ultra beginners all the way through advanced touring professionals, voice teachers, choral directors, and competition winners. I always give you serious vocal technique made simple and fun. The main cause of our problems is the tongue. You fix your ah and you will most likely fix your other two back vowels, o oh and oo. Reason number one, pushing your tongue down, singing with the flat tongue. That just puts direct pressure on your larynx. In other words, you wind up with a depressed larynx. Sounds bad. Sounds like this. Oh, I call that a woofy or fuzzy sound. So remember, the tongue just sits in the bed of your mouth. We have a natural tongue arch, and that's the middle of the tongue. That's how we make ah. So can you just say ah? Just let that tongue rest in the bed of your mouth. Tip of the tongue, either behind your bottom front teeth or on the gum slightly below. People's tongues are different sizes, right? But just say ah. There you go. Ah. Sing. Ah. Speak. Ah. Sing. Ah. Uh, simple. Problem number two, raising the back of the tongue. Well, when we do that, we get an overly bright and nasal ah uh, like this. Ah. Uh, remember, we want that tongue hump in the middle. Ah. Uh, not ah. Uh. Reason number three, and this is one that's not very obvious to a lot of singers, but allowing the tongue to narrow. Remember, we want to sing with a wide tongue. Imagine the back of your tongue spilling over your back molar. So we want ah. Uh. Now here's a narrow tongue, and it's really hard for me to do. I got to think about this. Oh, uh, oh, uh, like, like shaping my tongue like a hot dog. That puts immediate tension in my entire throat. So wide tongue, let's speak. Ah, uh, sing. Ah. Uh. Fourth reason, pulling the tongue back. Oh, uh, what does that do? Well, it blocks off the back of the throat. I often joke and say, it sounds like your throat is stuffed up with toilet paper. So let's speak ah uh, again. And remember, you want a forward tongue. Ah, uh, sing. Ah, uh, you could do it up high. Speak. Ah, uh, sing. Ah, uh, great. We sing on vowels. The vowel carries the tone. And all good singers are very vowel conscious. So if you need more help, make sure to see my playlist on vowels. I'll enclose the link in the description box below. Now, in my audio exercise training program, Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Exercise Program, we have a big section on vowels and vowel problems. So if you still haven't gotten it, I highly recommend that you do so right away. I have tons of technique that will last you for a long time. Uh, we have exercises for style. Remember, this is for all different voice types and super affordable. Plus, I do group classes with members regularly. So see the description below. It is now time for Victoria's Wisdom. A free ah vowel requires a free tongue for a balanced and beautiful tone. I hope you have enjoyed another edition of Victoria's Victoria's Vocal Tips. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, leave me some comments, leave me some thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on social media and continue working on your beautiful ah vowels and all your vowels. And I look forward to seeing everyone again very soon.